when are you going to mend my chair, Dad? Asked Baby Bear. Soon, Baby Bear, said Father Bear. You said that yesterday, said Baby Bear. And the day before. And the day before that. He's right, dear, said Mother Bear. That naughty Goldilocks broke Baby Bear's chair a very long time ago. Uh, well, all right, said Father Bear. I think we'd better look for a new chair in Bear Town. Hurry, cheered Baby Bear. Can we go now? So the three bears set off through the woods. Baby Bear played in the leaves. Look at me, he shouted. I'm Robin Hood. Don't get muddy, said Father Bear. Can I have a Robin Hood chair, begged Baby Bear. Please, please, please. We'll see, said Mother Bear. The three bears came to a stream. Look at me, said Baby Bear. I'm a pirate. Ah. Be careful, said Father Bear. You'll get wet. Oh, can I have a pirate chair? Begged Baby Bear. Please, please, please. We'll see, said Mother Bear. Three bears walked on, and the road wound its way round the castle. Baby Bear climbed onto a rock. Look at me! I'm the king of the castle! Said Baby Bear. Be careful, said Father Bear. You'll fall. All the way to Bear Town, Baby Bear thought and thought about the kind of chair he wanted. And when they reached the chair shop, he ran round and around and the revolving doors. Stop that at once, cried Father Bear. You'll make yourself sick. In the shop, there were lots and lots and, and lots of chairs. There was a Robin Hood chair. It was much too scratchy. There was a pirate's chair, but it was much too scary. And there was a king's chair, but it was much too grand. The cushion was so big and soft that when Baby Bear sat on it, he sank down, down, and down. Don't you like any of them? asked Mother Bear. Yes, said Baby Bear, but none of them is, is quite right. Sorry, Baby Bear, said Father Bear. Come on, we'd best be going home. Baby Bear was so disappointed. He was tired too. So Father Bear gave him a piggyback. All the way home. What's this? Said Mother Bear as they reached the front door. There was a big parcel wrapped in brown paper sitting on the step. Baby Bear didn't feel tired anymore. He ripped off the paper, opened the box and lifted out the most perfect little red bear chair and with it was a note from Goldilocks Dear Baby Bear Sorry I broke your chair Love Goldilocks Baby Bear tried it out Hooray! cried Baby Bear It's not too scratchy It's not too scary and it's not too grand In fact it's just right. Hmm. The end. Night, night, baby bear.